Hi, in this video, I'm going to be building a bank NFT based expiry day strategy. So this strategy has not been built by me. Uh, I found it on a very popular blog called uh, Bank Nifty Options Trading Strategy, which is managed by someone called Arun. And uh, in this uh, in this strategy, he shared his logic for what he will do on a Bank Nifty expiry day based uh, strategy. So uh, let's follow and try to build this entire logic on Tradetron and see how do we uh, how do we um, uh, uh, use this strategy. So um, I'll be sharing this strategy as a link in the description along with the blog link uh, in the description. So feel free to check out both of them. So without any further ado, let's get into the building of the strategy. So we are first going to check the uh, entry conditions. So you can see entry is on 9.35 on Bank Nifty expiry days only. So um, for that I have built a condition. Uh, as today is equal to current week expiry. So current week expiry as a keyword will be able to adjust for uh, all holidays. So let's say in case Thursday is a holiday and the expiry shifts to Wednesday. In that case, the exp uh, current week expiry will be able to adjust for that. So um, by using this keyword, it, we will uh, take a trade only on the expiry day, uh, weekly expiry days. Um, the next logic is that it should take a trade at 9.35. So I've used the condition time greater than 9.35. And I've also used the condition as position detail is equal to number zero. So this will help me uh, uh, prevent a secondary trade in case uh, both my stop losses get uh, hit. So um, along with this, you can see that he's used an instrument of uh, selling an in the money one call and put option. He's also added an example of the same. So let's see how do we build the same. So um, in my position builder, you can see I have a, a call of bank nifty which is of current week expiry of one lot and in my strike effects i have made a formula out here so this formula will, will basically give me um the rounded value of the uh, of the bank nifty uh, spot uh, based instrument so in this blog he's not shared exactly if he's using spot or futures but uh, regardless uh, you can test it with both on back testing uh, on tradetron so you can just uh, click on instrument name if you need the futures and you can select the uh, current month expiry out here once you select current month expiry, this will give you ATM based on futures. So as of now, I have taken the benefit of doubt and I have used um, used ATM based on spot. So I've used round keyword in order to uh, round the LTP to the nearest 100 value. In order to get to ITM 1, I have basically uh, subtracted 100 points from it. So you can always change this 100 points to uh, any other number based on your logic uh, or uh, or back tested with different numbers based on whatever you think is the best uh, opportunity for you um, similarly uh, we have uh, the put option so the put option is exactly identical um, just in the strike fx i'm using round but i'm using plus 100 this time so um, this will be able to help me achieve my instrument uh, related logic um, now you can see that in the same uh, in the same uh, a strategy he's added a stop loss of 75 percent on both legs so uh in order to achieve my stop loss i have added two different repair ones so my repair ones number one is for my call and my repair ones number two is for my put so in uh, in case of uh, my 75 percent stop loss i am using a keyword called leg exit so my leg exit uh, is selected out here wherein i'm selecting my entry condition and my underlying as bank nifty uh, set one condition one leg one and I have selected stop loss percent. So stop loss percent as 75. So this will basically be able to help me with my 75% stop loss. And I'm doing the same for my repair ones number two. So I'm selecting leg exit and I'm selecting uh, entry with underlying bank nifty um, set one condition one leg number two and my stop loss as 75%. Um, now you will also see that he has a trailing stop loss uh, of uh, 10, uh, 10 points by five points. So uh, out here, in order to achieve the trailing stop loss logic, I have uh, I have used the keyword called leg TSL. So in leg TSL, I've again made the same selections, only uh, I am using uh, my uh, trailing stop loss. So now trailing stop loss can be taken as a points or percentage. I'll select points and you can select 10 out here and lock profit at 5. So uh, you can select whatever numbers you like. Um, play around with these numbers and see what what fits best according to your backtesting results. And based on that, you can take the strategy uh, live in your account. Um, again, uh, I have selected uh, 20 points, uh, 20 percentage and 10 percentage, but you can select whatever you like. And I've done the same for both my repair ones uh, one and repair ones two. So in repair ones two as well, I'm selecting the same uh, logic. Now you can see 
that uh, he has an exit uh, condition logic that exit at 3.15 every day. So uh, I will now shift to my universal exit. Time is greater than 3.15. So uh, in case my time is uh, it's 3.15, I will exit from my strategy and take a universal exit. And you can see I also have another block out here where I'm checking if position detail is not equal to number zero and position detail uh, all 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 quantity is equal to number zero. This basically makes sure that uh, this first line makes sure that my entry has been taken. So if my entry has been taken and if all the open positions have been squared off, which means that uh, I have I have closed all the open positions, all my entries and all my repairs have been triggered. In that case, I will trigger a universal exit. By triggering this universal exit, my status of my strategy will change from exited to live and uh, from live entered to exited. Um, after which, my reactivate on exit will trigger, uh, and it will wait for six hours uh, before becoming activated again. So um, I I again have uh, added and uh, and se selected all my advanced settings and selected the capital required as shown in uh, the uh, as shown in the block. And based on that, I have built my strategy. So you can uh, use the link in the description to duplicate the strategy, test it in your account, use different numbers for whatever you need um, in terms of your risk appetite and then run the strategy on paper trade on trade run. So on a side note, what I found was that uh, when we are changing the numbers, like uh, we are currently using around 75%, uh, if we change the number of stop loss to around 25%, the returns uh, through, a back, through the backtesting reports are much better. So um, uh, uh, if we if we keep everything else constant like uh, the TSL numbers and just shift the leg exit from 75% to 25%, in that case the backtest reports look something like this. So uh, we get a fairly steady upward graph um, along with uh, along with some good uh, good analytical details like the drawdown out here that you see is around 1.86%, which is fairly good. You can of course try and change the numbers, tweak it a bit. To increase your win rate a lot more out here. Um, uh, so driving the point that it is not about any one particular strategy, it's about how well you test it with different permutation and combinations. So go ahead, back test it on different time frames, on different uh, on different uh, trailing stop loss levels, different stop loss levels, and see what works best for you based on your particular risk appetite and thought process of the market. So um, if you have any other uh, suggestions in terms of what we should cover in future videos, feel free to drop it in the comments and we would be happy to, um, happy to take it up in the next videos. Thank you.